everyone it's Kim the homeschooling Grammy and today I'm just going to be sharing some scripture with you um, I did word Wednesday for a very long time and I've been very inconsistent with it um, it's been months since I've actually shared um, and today I'm going to be talking about repentance so if this is something that you're interested in stick around and we will get started I'd like to tell you that I'm sharing this because I am coming with a repentant heart because you know the Lord has put it on my heart for a long time that I need to share um, that I need to share about Jesus Christ and what he has done for me and what he has done in my life and he has worked miraculously and if you're new to my channel um, and you don't know I have a chronic illness a chronic illness that I was told, you know, there's only certain things that are going to, there are certain things that were going to happen in my life. Um, it is called trigeminal neuralgia and it is life altering, life changing. Um, it is also known as the suicide disease. And if you are interested in more of what this chronic illness is about, I will share um, a past video up in the iCards you can go ahead and you can take a look at to have more detail but God has worked miraculously in my life and I'm an example of miracles that still happen today and so I'm coming with a repentant heart because he worked so miraculously in my life and yet I am not sharing um, his word with others and so I would like to do that today and so all of the verses that I have chosen are about repentance um, and I think in general we all matter of fact I know we all need to repent whether we know Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior or we don't we are all in need of repentance okay so the first scripture I want to share with you comes from Isaiah 55 6 and 7 and it says, Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts. Let him return to the Lord that he may have compassion on him and to our God, for he will abundantly pardon. So the next verse that I'm going to share with you comes from Luke 5, 31 and 32. And I saw it as kind of a direct correlation to Isaiah 55, 6, and 7, because in Isaiah 55, and, uh, 55, 6, and 7, it is saying, you know, return to the Lord that he may have compassion and to our God, for he will abundantly pardon us. And who is has pardoned us? Who has pardoned us? The New Testament speaks of Jesus Christ. He is our pardon. He is the one that has interceded for us. He is the bridge between us and God um, because there's only one way to the Father and that is through Jesus Christ. Luke 5 31 and 32 says, And Jesus answered them, Those who are well have no need of a physician, but those who are sick. I have not come to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. Um, and we are all sinners. There is not one of us. There's not one of us righteous, not one. We are all sinners. We all need repentance. And you know, I hear so many people say, well, you know, I can't, you know, why, why would I go to a church? Why would I go to church? Because, you know, all of these things are happening and um, people are people. We live in a fallen world. And yes, the church, the church is a place of people who need the great physician because none of us are perfect and none of us will be perfect in this lifetime. The only one that was perfect was Jesus Christ himself. So the next verse that I chose comes from James 4, 8. Um, and it says, draw near to God and he will draw near to you. Cleanse your hands, you sinners, and purify your hearts, you double-minded. And so when I was reading that scripture, I was, I was thinking to myself, you know what? It is so true. God never leaves us. He doesn't. 
he never leaves us. He never forsakes us. His word tells us that we're the ones that turn our back on him. And that is what is happening. I look at our world today and I think that that's part of why I feel like kind of closed in on myself and the videos that I have been doing have been, you know, all happy, puffy, lovely, you know, like, <laughs> um, you know, trying to portray, you know, the, the better side all of the time. Like I try to be uplifting in all of my videos, but, but you know what? I can't speak for everybody, but I know like for myself, I mean, I have times where, um, I feel just like so burdened and so overcome. Um, I get so upset by what is happening in the world. I take it personally. Um, and any time that I have found myself feeling distant or feeling like God isn't there, it's not because he isn't there, it's because I've pulled away. I'm the one that has um, withdrawn myself, withdrawn myself and um, maybe not getting in his word enough, not, not praying, not seeking him, not, those are the things. And I see it in the life, my life out around me when I do those things and you know it's been difficult with all that has been going on too for the last couple of years that um, you know we've kind of been pushed into this whole more of a social media approach and not actual human contact at least in the state that we live in you know we're back now to um, mandates and all kinds of stuff um, I'm not going to get into what's going on specifically, but if you read, you know, if you watch the news, you know, but, um, so it makes it more and more difficult, um, to have that one-on-one -on -one with somebody. And so, yeah, so I, I find my, I found myself again, pulling back and listening to Satan whispering in my ear and telling me, you know what, Kim, <laughs> there's no reason for you to be on your social media platform talking about the Lord, at least not on YouTube. Um, you know, what, 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 you, what, what difference are you going to make? And you know what, a friend of mine, she's the sweetest person ever. Um, she's like a mom figure to me. Um, my mom passed away over 11 years ago now, and I still have my father, but um, she has been like this wonderful great grandmother person to my grandchild and she's just so full of wisdom she's so loving and she's so kind and she says to me Kim don't listen to that you need to say liar liar pants on fire you call out Satan call him out liar liar pants on fire that he's lying to you so yeah so everything you know that we I've been you know talking to you about so far really the bottom line comes down to repentance and repentance means to turn away from um, to come to God and say, you know what, I really messed up and I, you know, please help me to not do whatever it is. And if you don't know the Lord Jesus Christ, it works the same exact way. Um, their works is not going to get you into heaven. Things that you do are not going to get you into heaven. The only thing that's going to get you into heaven is relationship with Jesus Christ. Second Peter 3, 9 says, the Lord is not slow to fulfill his promise as some count slowness but is patient towards you, not wishing that any should perish, but that all should reach repentance. Um, and I just have to keep holding on to this scripture because it's so difficult in the day to day for me sometimes. Um, you know, my husband and my granddaughter and two of my three daughters, I know for sure are believers. The rest of my family is not, and it's so hard. So I, I keep holding on to this because the Lord is not slow to fulfill his promise, to fulfill his promise as some count slowness, but is patient towards you, not wishing that any should perish, but that all should reach repentance. And I'm holding on to that scripture because I can't imagine like going to heaven and my family not being there and I have, I have a very hard time with this stuff um, an extremely hard time I I just gotta keep praying and keep believing like 
fire liar pants on fire chem you know god promises you know that he is slow and patient and you know when we're in the moment and we say oh i wish jesus would return no my god i want him to but i don't want him to either um and so yeah i just keep holding on to that scripture because um that is my hope that is my greatest prayer um that my family will be there with me someday okay so this next verse really drives it home it drives it home because you know in the book of revelation you know it's all of jesus christ and all it he stands for and who he is he's the king of king he's the lord of lords and he's going to return someday and set up his kingdom and if you don't know him if you don't know him as lord and savior in your life revelation 3 3 says remember then what you received and heard keep it and repent so in other words Anybody who has watched my video now cannot stand before the Lord and say that they didn't know, that they, that they didn't know that Jesus Christ is the way, that he is the way, the truth, and the life, that no one comes to the Father except through him. Nobody can say that now. Remember then what you received and heard, keep it and repent. If you will not wake up, I will come like a thief and you will not know at what hour I will come against you. Jesus Christ is coming. His return is imminent. Do you know him? I pray that you do. If you ever have any questions, and I don't, I don't say that I have all the answers. And so if I don't know an answer, I will find it for you. Feel free to email me. I would love to have a conversation with you. I love to have a conversation with you. So God bless and take care. And I will talk to you in the next video.